so what are we gonna do today? Eight and a quarter by five sixteenths. Right? Know what it is? One, two, three, four, five, sixteenths. Eight and a quarter by five sixteenths hardy board. This is cement board. Same stuff they make for a uh, tile board. It's got the grained finished, the milled finish, and it's an exact replication of this uh, oriented strand board or this. Actually, I think it's OSB, not MDF. Six and one half dozen of the older. I'm not poking around and changing anything that doesn't need to be changed. We've talked about before how this is incorrect. Uh, this trim is incorrect, but he's not interested in paying to have it fixed. Yay. So what are we going to do? I'm going to start this off by jumping into this window here. I'm going to pull these three legs off. One, two, three. I'm going to pull this section off here, which they broke pulling the trim off. This was not, I guess it was a little punky, wasn't it? All right. Yeah, that's an oriented strand board. That's not MDF. So I'm not interested in putting the same stuff that failed back up there. I'm going to start with this one just because, I don't know, just because. And then uh, we'll loop around here. Hopefully it doesn't rain today. I don't think it will. And I'm going to remove the board that's right up against the house. My initial thought is to replace this one rotten one and then the one course right above it. So two boards up. I have to fix this separated downspout, which is easy. But those two up, I'm going to go probably from this seam over and then maybe that seam over because they bolted this. Yeah, I guess what I'll do. I'll go from that seam over. Unless this is rotten. That is not rotten. Okay, cool. That seam, that seam, over to the door, and then I will replace those two from that trim piece to this seam, and then this bottom course maybe all the way out to this seam. Yeah, same thing, they've got it bolted there to there, because this is in good shape. Couple minutes with a sawzall and a carefully placed hammer. Uh, yeah, that's what we're left with. Thanks. Remaining siding is in remarkably decent shape. The caulking has failed. You can see there's mold. Scrub that mold out. This is all in pretty decent shape considering it's, I don't know, just scrappy wood glued together. That's what OSB is. Oriented strand board. Um, man, they did some weird, weird papering. But I'm not here to find any new issues. I will take a piece of 40 flash and I'm going to re 40 flash the bottom there. And uh, I don't really need to go up the sides, but curled stuff like that kind of concerns me a little bit. So the moldy stuff, I'm just going to cut out this bottom piece, put a piece of for to flash in there and then uh, we'll start putting stuff back up and just like that it's done what I ended up doing was reusing the western red cedar that I pulled off of the patio doors the French doors and um, I just cut the bad stuff off I ripped them to size and that's gonna save the homeowner quite a bit of money especially when I start getting around the other side there to replace trim quite a bit of money I don't know what's a hundred bucks right 100 150 bucks in materials it doesn't cost any more uh, labor wise it's all about the same so there it is caulk tight to the house um, there were a few errors that they made when they did the installation we already talked about the trim you could see that versus this this is the right way to do it you want to run your trim all the way down this way the thing they did as well that was incorrect, or at least I felt that was incorrect, they never put any caulking from the trim to window. I do, because I don't even want water in there in the first place. Any water that comes in, I want it to, I don't want it to. And then I noticed also what they did was they caulked the bottoms of all these overlap, these shiplap wood, and they caulked the bottom of the window. 
that's a big no bueno um, you don't want to there's an inch and a half overlap here on every one so in reality unless you're getting updriven rain and if you're in the type of environment that gets those kind of winters where you get strong winds this is not going to be your siding to install anyway so even if you get horizontal rain or your traditional rain you want these bottoms left uncocked so if any water does get behind the siding it'll come out on the next course it won't if you caulk it it'll just keep going and it'll soak in all the way down they caulk the bottom of the trim all these windows are caulked in on the bottom so and they didn't caulk them here so any water that got in here is just going to sit right behind this board because it doesn't have the opportunity to get out and i've made a muddy mess of everything look i'm wearing knee pads i'm such a good boy oh well anyhow it is what it is that's all he wanted done so that's all i'm going to do let's move on to the next one so I'm not sure where I was talking when the battery on this camera doid, but I'm going to leave it open for tonight. It's getting about 3 o'clock, so it's time for me to hit the road and get on out of here. Uh, I'm going to let it air out for the evening. I did go around and prime this western red, and it should be dry. It's just overcast, but it's generally dry. They don't have any rain in the uh, forecast for this week. I did find some more issues over here and I talked to the owner and the owner's gonna approve the additional work uh, which works out anyway because I have a couple extra pieces of this siding along the base here I was poking around and we got this gone I'm not quite sure why that bottom course rotted out this one's fine you can see the mud sill is right here so this is all below the actual foundation I'm not sure why there could have been bushes or something so here's how we leave it I think that's gonna work just fine I ran the Forta flash up seven inches that you can't see behind here which is pretty much that whole bottom course what this does is this allows about a two and a half inch exposed piece of Forta flash there that his handy dude can tie in another piece of flashing. That will be my recommendation that before he replaces the boards, he's gonna have to replace that the deck's not my that's not my dilemma. That's that's something else. So he's gonna have his guy do the deck. But what this does is this gives him the opportunity to come in with if he wants to use Forta Flash or if he wants to use sheet metal, it's his call, to be able to lip up underneath what I have sticking out there and then any water that comes down the face of the building or even gets behind the siding will come across the top of that flashing and drop down over the face of this ledger board which is the way it kind of should be and then i'm sitting here because i like to try to figure things out i like to say in my head because i'm here all by myself and i'm surrounded by nothing but silence so oftentimes i'm in my head i try to figure out why did this siding fail just like right around the door here and why only the bottom two courses if the door had been leaking or something was wrong with the molding or how they did the installation on the door, we would find damage farther up the wall. We would find a whole lot more, whole many more, whole many more? Wait, where's my producer to give me a script? We would find a lot more indications of water impingement behind the siding higher up. So I'm looking around, not really paying a lot of attention why I'm looking around, but while I'm looking around, I realize that the primary rot eight feet or so in either direction of the door is in direct correlation to how the upstairs framing is done and then it dawned on me and I said to myself self any water because this is fully exposed the upstairs that hits the face of that building is going to come down the face here and it's going to wash down the face of this building and it's going to hit here and you remember there was no flashing or anything this deck was put right up against the house and it was any drainage that could possibly have happened in between these boards right now is completely full of organics dog hair redwood little needlets um, and dirt and just crap so that water all that water that hits the face of this building within the confines of here to here comes down the face of the building it hits the deck and it rots out the siding that's where we had predominantly seen the fungus and the issues with moisture 
any face surface water that hits this part of the house would come down the face of the building, do the exact same thing, right? Hit this ledge board, but it would drip down here. And this is about 18 or 20 inches out from the house. It's 24 inches. Okay, fine. This is two foot away from the house, so the water's going to hit here. It's going to hit the deck 24 inches from the house, and it's not going to go that way. The deck's got a slight kick down slope that way, which makes sense. Um, I'm hoping that they planned it that way and they didn't just build it wrong. <laughs> but uh, Or get lucky. Maybe they got lucky. Who knows? But the water from here to here, that's like 16 or 18 feet, hits two foot out from the house. None of this stuff was affected. All this siding is in perfect shape. So, well, that makes sense to me now. It makes sense to me why this has failed. And it makes sense that, and I'm glad I thought about putting the cement board, because we're never going to be able to correct the water coming down the face of this building. That's just the way it is. Even if you were to use the pucks um, here, but we're not. I, I'm not the deck guy on this. I'm just the siding guy. The deck guy is someone else. And uh, if you were to rebuild this deck, yeah, you would have your ledger board stand off so the water would just keep on going down to the ground. But it's not the way it's built. That's not the way it's going to get rebuilt. So we're just going to work with what we have here today. But that makes sense. Does that make sense to you guys? Did I say that out loud in a way that it made sense to where it was making sense inside of my head? So this concludes the rotten siding portion of this project. I started digging around on that bottom course and then quickly recognized the next course up had uh, some funk to it. So whatever, just keep peeling until you find solid surface and then... Uh, Replace it. Cool. I'm going to clean up my mess. And then tomorrow we come in here. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We're supposed to have more, a lot more rain on Thursday. So it's, uh, tomorrow's going to be my job to cut one of those windows in half. Shrink the window down. It's either the right one or the left one. I don't know. I guess I should probably figure that out before I start pulling the window out. 